you guys, where do you sit? Do they have a little throne they area? Have, do you have, they have a, a backstage for press, print press, television yeah. press? Is it it a, looks, it's, the, the decor is just exactly like the junior high school cafeteria. You know, oh. those long formica tables with the legs that fold out. But they have a fancy sit... spread hors d'oeuvres. No, just sure. the jello cubes from high school cafeteria. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. And then you look at a TV set, which is about as far away as the band. Yeah. And you're shoulder to shoulder with a thousand other people, all of whom are shouting in foreign languages into their telephones. Now, you might, you guys must get just, not, not that you would get bribed, but at this time of year, you must just get the movie companies. Do they send you the jackets and the hats and, and, and tons well, of things? Well, that's always going on. I had yeah. a producer call me just the other day at our show. Uh, my name is used as a character in a movie, the ref. Uh, a bad guy is named Cisco. Right. And a producer called me to tell me it's happened to him, too. And, you know, what was I doing while I came out this week? And that kind of romancing does right. go on. So it does. The guy yeah. who wrote the ref was mad at Gene because he gave a bad review to another one of his movies. And so he put. Uh, oh, is that right? Siskel oh, that's in, funny. Yeah. It was oh, very funny. strange sitting in the back of a theater hearing the name, well, what's Siskel going to do? And it, at the end of the. It was, I kept waiting for where. You know, when's Ebert going to walk on? I was really disappointed. I kept waiting for Ebert. And there was even a character there in the movie, Santa Claus. And he was named Santa Claus. Now, I felt they missed a real chance. You know? <laughs> will the Oscars be boring this year? They won't be boring, no. even though Spielberg will win for director and, and Schindler's List will win. That won't be boring. The drama of when he wins the first time, the relief as director. Right. The relief. He's, how do you like to be the favorite in this category? The relief. Is that a probably, given that you think yes, he's won? He'll, yes. I'm sure he'll break down in some way. Well, then when he wins for producer, the picture at the end, I think then maybe the, the sense of responsibility is going to kick yeah. in. Like, what do I do now with the rest of my life? Uh, and I think if that hasn't already kicked in, it could be very dramatic. Keep your eyes right on his eyes. It'll be very exciting. Well, well I know, did see him at Ikea buying shelves. So I think... Some extras know, coming? Some extras, some extras. Hollywood has been called a cynical town, and even the Academy no. Awards are cynical some years. But I think that everybody who works out here in the industry and who loves movies knows that he has made a great film. Well, he and is I think the most that successful when, director when in the history of the world. his name is read, and it, yeah. 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 his name will be read on Monday night. It will be read at least twice, director and producer. And I think people will be truly moved. And it will be not a boring moment, but a very dramatic yeah. moment. And every single person that I've talked to who is a voter, and I think I've talked to about 10 people, every single one has told me they've split on other categories. Not one has said anything other than Spielberg director. Mm -hmm. Spielberg. Well, oh, it's a pretty amazing picture. picture. It, it yes, it is. And what a great way to use film as a remembrance and to use it in an exciting way. You take Oscar Schindler's character out of that picture, you still have an interesting picture, yeah. a compelling picture, a recreation uh, that oh. is quite remarkable. How about Best Actor? You think Liam Neeson? Uh, you know, oddly enough, no. And even though I think it will be a Schindler's night in general, I think that his character is so mysterious and so hard to pin down in the movie, the mm -hmm. character of Oscar Schindler, that he probably won't win. And I think that the favorite is probably Tom Hanks. Tom will fulfill it I think he likes will win. Yeah. I think the Academy likes the idea of this uh, light comedy actor, marvelous light comedy actor, romantic comedy in Sleepless in Seattle, taking the dramatic turn and being equal to it. Of course, obviously, the issue of AIDS is critically important out here. Yeah. Uh, we voted for that. I would have voted for Anthony Hopkins in Remains of the Day. Well, uh, yeah. I think that is, I saw it a second time. It's an exceptional piece of work. But the Academy, you know, well, we just gave him one. So yeah. uh, Silence of the Lambs, we can't give him another one. Best I actress? like uh, Hopkins very much, too. But I think I would have voted in that category. Nobody asked me, but uh, Lawrence Fishburne, I thought, was fabulous. And oh, was yeah, he was good, to too. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That this seems like the best group. It seems like in any other year, any oh, one of these the people would The actor category won. in particular yes. is strong. And then you mentioned actress. I think Holly Hunter is going to win. I think she's... Oh, for piano? Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah and I would have voted for runner. Angela Bassett, uh, for, again, for What's Love Got to Do With It, a film that's getting a second chance now because of these Oscar nominations. Right, right. That's the good part of the Oscars. We always complain about them. The good part is it gives films a second chance in video or in or Let re me ask you about another category. And this seems to have caused a little bit of controversy because the parts are basically pretty small. I mean, Holly Hunter uh, for The Firm, just a couple of yeah, scenes. You know, Holly and Hunter Emma and Emma Thompson, Thompson also in yeah. uh, Name of the Firm. Not now, good work. She, well, Not good work? I think that I Holly Hunter was very entertaining in The Firm, but I think that almost everybody marking their nominating ballot must have known for sure that she was going to be nominated for Best Actress. Yeah. So in that case, why not give it to somebody from the Joy Luck Club or somebody yeah. else that's deserving instead of voting for her twice, just yeah. to spread it around a little bit? Uh, Embeth Devitz, yeah, who played the maid in Schindler's List toward the end of the picture, that was a brilliant performance, ignored could have gone to her or Emma Thompson. If you're going to nominate Emma Thompson's supporting work, how about Much Ado About Nothing, a bigger part, more yeah. complicated yeah. part? You know, in that category, I think that uh, when I first heard the names Red when they were announced, I felt that Winona Ryder was the front runner. And now, 
I have a hunch that it might be an upset. It might go to Rosie Perez. I just have a feeling yeah. about that. Well, if it does, she'll win it really, I think, for White Men Can't Jump, a film that a lot more Academy voters saw and enjoyed than Fearless. Are you disappointed by any nominations? I was disappointed by the fact that Emma Thompson and Holly Hunter oh, okay. were nominated yeah. again. That was the, those were the two because, and not to take, they're great actresses. They were fabulous in the best actress category. They didn't need to go back and, and honor them again. In you know the what I'd, category. what I'd like to see happen is, uh, I wouldn't take anybody out of the actor category, but I sure would like to see an actor like Harrison Ford get nominated for yeah, his work right. in the yeah. future. Yeah. That kind of work, that kind of work, or Clint Eastwood's work in In the Line of Fire is devalued out here in Hollywood. They should know better. It's very hard to hold the center of one of these big action pictures. These two men, Eastwood and Ford, do it as well as anyone in film history. How about, how about supporting actor? Tommy Lee Jones, you think? I think he will. He's so popular. Uh, he's about that. He's a fine actor. Everybody seems to think it'll be Tommy Lee Jones, but there I think that the Schindler bandwagon is going to take over, and I think that uh, Ray Fiennes is going to win in that oh, category. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, Even though good everybody too. thinks it's going to be Tommy Lee Jones, but I have a feeling that it could be another upset. It's going to be Tommy Lee Jones, a, a, a quarter century career. It's going to be, you'd be surprised. You guys Fiennes, uh, pretty so. much agree on this? No, you'll, you'll be amazed. That so you guys is. pretty much agree that... Uh, I'll tell you Do you what, agree that, that, that Tommy Lee Jones should probably win? Uh, Tommy Lee Jones was awfully good. So was Malkovich. Do you agree Remember that Tommy Lee Jones Malkovich? should win? I would say Ray Fiennes should win. Tommy but, Lee but Jones you agree, will win. And you agree, Tommy Lee? You, so you both agree on this? Uh, I think that. No, uh, I don't you see both it. agree it's on very this? No. Easy, it's very easy to forget something you saw six months ago. Remember so how you good pretty much John agree. Malkovich was? And, uh, was yeah, we're, we're just like this. Yeah, know? yeah. So you guys agree that he would win this. <laughs> yeah, one last quick question. You guys are from Chicago. What do you think? I thought it was kind of a cheap shot. Michael Jordan, the cover sports. A very Australia. cheap shot. They took him a shot. Let they me took tell a shot. Let me tell you something, something Jay. In all of professional sports today, there's one guy who's playing not for the money but for the fun, and that's Michael Jordan. Yeah. And all of right. the sports writers who are, they're absolutely mesmerized. Yeah. They're mesmerized by money, by contracts, by deals, right. and they can't see why he's doing this. And why he's doing it is at the heart of sports. He loves he's the game. Fun. He loves the game. I'd rather see him hit zero than see some no-name athlete hit 250. Yeah. Because I want actually like to see him try. We know this is a fantasy for us, too. Yeah. Could we do it? Yeah. Here's the best athlete we've ever seen trying for it. What's wrong with what he's doing? Yeah. They're, they're, so, they're so insular, all these sports riders. Yeah. He's not, not like, crashing not the like game. like critics. Right. He, yeah. Right. You got that right, Jerry. Yeah, you both agree that Michael Jordan uh, yes. is being picked on? Yeah. There you go. I okay. got to go great, ladies and gentlemen. He did, not he? Yes. Yes, he has his redemption. He... We forgive him at the end, but there are times in the middle of the movie when you want to throttle him. Now, the, the name of the character is Esteban Treebo, correct? Esteban Treebo, yeah. I kind of got that right. Yeah. We're going to look at a scene <laughs> where Esteban confronts Clara, played by Meryl Streep, over the news that their daughter, played by Winona Ryder, has been sleeping with the enemy, so to speak, in House mm. of the Spirits. Let's take a look. This is your fault. You're the one who brought her up without any sense of morals, without religion, without principles. She has no idea who she is. She's my daughter. If she'd done this with someone from a decent family, then maybe, maybe I could have understood. But with that sneaky, dirty little son of a bitch, I'll kill him, I swear, on my mother's soul. When I find him, you'll wish he'd never been. has done nothing that you haven't done yourself. You've also slept with women not of your own class. But he did it for love, and so did Blanca. Another charming scene with Esteban. Mm. I mean, this is a really a Pedro. We should mention is Antonio is one of the Banderas. workers. Yes, That's Antonio right. Banderas. Get, put this into a little context for me, well, Jeremy. Uh, Pedro is one of the workers, one of the campesinos, and. Esteban wants his daughter to marry into a wealthy family, into a great family. He has spent most of his life trying to build up his position in life, and he doesn't want, as he sees it, his daughter to, to marry a peasant. What is interesting is that later in the story, the situation is reversed. Right, but we won't give that we away. We won't give we'll... that away. What I was saying, that there are so many components to this movie in many ways. It's a love story. It's, it's a, about a family and relationships. It's a social... Uh, class commentary. Mm. I, I someone asked me. It's they have there. There's a lot of mysticism mm. in it as well. Mm. I, I, I was at a loss for words when people asked me to quickly describe this movie. When people ask you, what do you say? I'm also at a loss for words, and I I mutter on. Um, <laughs> I suppose the best thing to say quickly is it's a love story that takes 55 years to tell. You had to age. I have to ask you this because we're almost out of time. 
they have you from the age of 25 to 75. That's right. And they did an excellent job, I thought. Good. With, with the makeup. Uh, what kind of things did they do? Well... We do many tricks. Putting on makeup is like doing a conjuring trick. You try...